Welcome back to another Xenotic video. We're going to be watching Drainer versus Wolfsea on this map. It's a hub map. We don't see them very often because the games are usually complete wipeouts, but this one is going to be close. We have a Telefrag straight off the back. Drainer going to be able to get the Telefrag. And a beautiful shotgun rocket combo to find the second. A very fast and nice start from Drainer who is in the chat so we may be able to get a little bit of feedback on how this went. Or potentially he's just going to see all the mistakes that he made. Finds the Mega. Very nice pick up there. Wolfie going to be going over to the armor but not finding it because it's not quite up yet. Decent bit of damage from Wolfie, forcing Drainer back down the stairs. You don't want to be down the stairs, especially when the items are spawning, but Drainer's managed to pull the switch back, get them changed over, but Wolfie's still going to be able to find the armor. Drainer unable to keep the pressure on. Going down in midair, flying over the top. Wolfie's going to find the mega health. Drainer now a little bit low, needing to find a bit more health. Needs to stack up a bit. You've got to be very careful when you're around here. There's enough teleporters that someone can come from any direction. And especially in this game with the blaster. You can just fly right up the top of it. Four to two the scoreline. A minute and a half in though. Very nice shot from Drainer. Nice and clean play from both these guys for the last, last uh, probably about 40 seconds. Both playing very cleanly. Wolfie down at the bottom. Flying off up to the top. Playing very vertically today. This map is quite a vertical map, but a lot of people forget... Uh, how, quite how vertical you can play it only using the teleporters and the stairs to get upwards but with that blaster you can just fly straight upstairs if you need to and a beautiful prediction there from Drainer being incredibly clever with the positioning and manages to stop Wolfie getting that armour 5-2 to two your scoreline and Wolfie on the back foot Falling back, trying to escape. Beautiful shot in there. Not enough to stop Drainer from grabbing the item, but a good bit of damage and a good thing just to stop Drainer from controlling the whole of the map. Wolfie going to find a nice shot in. Drainer going to be bounced up and down this teleporter pad, unable to quite get out of there. Takes quite a bit of damage, a little bit from self-hit and a little bit from Wolfie. No frags for the last minute or so. These guys playing a little bit more defensively. Drainer trying to just regain some control. Keeping pretty good control over the items though. But Wolfie really playing so aggressive that keeping control of the actual like map space is much more difficult. Drainer able to get in with some items in certain places but the map space just being taken. And now the items are starting to flow over to Wolfie. Beautiful necks right there. Well predicted, well placed and a well deserved 80 damage. Wolfie pushing through that corner. Not too much he could have done about that. Just very good play from Drainer. Finds two frags in a row with the rocket launcher though. And now Drainer has a bit of a problem. On the back foot and almost about to lose his lead in the game. Not going over for that item. Very well played there. Holding out on it. Now going to be going, waiting, listening for Wolfie to fire. But Wolfie plays a fake shot and goes up. Oh, some nice rockets coming out from both players here. I do love a good rocket and a good prediction. Two of my favourite things in this game and predictive rockets well they're just fantastic aren't they nice little fighting pit and a beautiful rocket there predictive rocket like i was just talking about 
Very crispy, clean way to execute someone. Beautiful play there from Wolfie, using the blast to very quickly get across that line, get across that alleyway and get out of dodge. Drainer now with a slight lead as we cross the halfway mark. Playing very carefully, it's a nice play style. Wolfie extremely aggressive against Drainer, playing quite passively, trying to control where he's moving to. Managing to find a few shots at a good position there, L hearing that Wolfie was upstairs and aiming up. And there's another frag. Gets the triple. Wolfie is out of position a little bit here. Pit, a very dangerous place to be when your opponent's got certain weapons. Drainer going to be in a tough position here. Somehow manages to stay alive a lot longer with that machine gun going off around him. But still in a decent bit of control. Wolfie's got a lot of stack. I think Wolfie must have picked up all of the major items. Drainer makes a bit of a dodgy play then Moves just a little bit too high. Wolfie going to be able to punish that slight bit of delay. And do a good amount of damage. Drainer needs to pick up some weapons. Has been confined to this little section of the map. Hasn't been able to pick up... Too many good weapons. Spotting Wolfie dodges out there. Trying to get away. Wolfie's got control of this next though. And Drainer needs that. We've seen how it's impacted his play right now. 48% next. That is incredibly good shots there. And Wolfie's going to be looking to find a few more kills on the board. In this position, finding a lot of armor and health, but just unable to get over to that armor and taking a lot of damage for the troubles. Drain has not got too much health, and Wolfie has got quite a lot. They're going to trade out a frag, though. Drainer still in control of this scoreline, and now actually trading out that frag. An incredibly good position. So... By trading that out, Wolfie's gone from being in control and Drainer out of control to both players having the exact same control as they both respawn at the same time. So Drainer actually, despite dying there, and obviously, you know, that's not good, would have preferred to have survived, potentially actually better to have traded and kind of left everything even, but really evened out everything instead of coming back with only a few health and would have been traded out anyway. But with the timing slightly different. The timing of that. Timing of your death is important in these games. Dying a little bit early to be able to pick something up. Being able to die with your opponent. To completely reset the playing field pretty much. Other than a few small things. Like item timing. You can reset that playing field. Drainer definitely playing a more defensive position now as we near the last minute of the game with a three frag lead. This is a very, very fast map. So obviously three frags is not enough to completely take control. And both of these players know it. Wolfie pushing in very aggressively, pushes in hard, manages to land a few decent shots. But Drainer pushing in back and using a good amount of spam in good places to be able to keep the control. And beautiful rocketry there from Drainer hitting all the right shots in all the right positions. Fakes out a jump. Wolfie doesn't come back round. Finds, comes back round on the second, trying to catch Drainer off on the exit. Manages to find the kill. Drainer does pick up the armor though. So Wolfie hasn't got that. One minute left. We have two frags. The lead for Drainer. Needs to find some items. Some health. Some armor. Only one frag now. Drainer with the self kill. This is going to be an extremely close game. Wolfie has the stack but gets taken out. Pushing too aggressively through that teleporter. And now we find ourselves in a very, very close game towards the end. Drainer can't play defensively because Wolfie is just pushing too hard into the fight. And if Drainer's to let off this... Relentless attack, really. 
it's an attack by backpedal, uh, quite frankly. Drainer is just plus back, spamming Wolfie. But Wolfie's all too knowledgeable about the plus back spam. And Drainer manages to hold him off. An incredibly close game between two incredibly good players. Thank you very much for watching. Send me demos so that you can be on here too. I am MX Craven on the IRC. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one of these.